Hey you guys, I am back with, as promised, my top favorite glute exercises. I'm obviously going to show you the exercises, but this video is also showing you why I perform them. There's three classes of glute exercises. The first two I'm showing you here are classified as stretchers, which means there's peak tension at the bottom of the movement for squats and mid-range or at the top of the movement for deadlifts. Back squats are classified as a stretcher, and so are deadlifts, both sumo and conventional, because the emphasis is on on the eccentric portion of the movement and these generally take the longest to recover from at about three to four days. So in my current program, I'm only doing squats once per week and deadlifts once per week, but I do have other things in there like hats, hack squats and single leg RDLs and stuff. But these um, specifically squats and deadlifts are only programmed once per week right now for me just because they take the longest to recover from and I have a lot of other movements that are similar as well. So the next four exercises you're seeing now are called activators. This first exercise is barbell hip thrusts. Um, these, this is one of my favorite glute exercises just because I can go super heavy and I really just enjoy doing them. Um, they have a shorter range of motion, which means you can recover from them a little bit faster compared to the stretchers. So in two to three days compared to about three to four days in the stretchers. These are my personal favorite because I tend to feel these the most in my glutes. So the activators that I'm showing you, I personally feel the most. You will have to play around a little bit with what works best for you and what you feel the most, but these are what my favorites are. Next one is literally called the butt blaster on the machine, but it's also just a bent knee hip extension. You can also do this one on a Smith machine. I've seen it done before, but it's a great glute exercise. It really activates the glute muscle for me without activating my quad, which I tend to have trouble with in my squats and sometimes in my hip thrust as well. So this is straight up glutes for me, which is why I really like it. And then this next one is the reverse hyperextension. Um, I know a lot of gyms don't have this one, but you can also do it using just a flat bench and with a more bent knee, squeezing your glutes up. Um, you probably won't be able to load the exercise as heavy as you would on this machine, but this is one of my favorites and you can work up once you're comfortable with the movement to a heavy weight. So I think my current weight I worked up to this one is 45 pounds um, after starting with about 20 pounds the first week I did them. And then this last activator exercise is the 45 degree hyperextension. You'll notice I'm not coming all the way up and I kind of have a rounded back at the top. That just is because I'm squeezing my glutes and I'm using my glutes to pull my body up compared to my lower back. These I really feel a lot in my glutes and I'm using, I'm just holding a 25 pound plate for some added weight, but you should try them body weight first and then once you get the form down, add some weight after that. And then the last two exercises I'm showing you are called pumpers. The recovery time is only one to two days, so you can perform these a little bit more often than you would squats or deadlifts, for example. Since these are banded, they have varying tension on your glutes and shorter range of motion, which allows you to recover faster, but you can also do these for a higher number of reps, like 15 to 20 to 30 reps. Um, work your way up, and then there's obviously different band widths and sizes that you can use too. And then the last one I'm just showing you are lateral band walks, which are great as a finisher or as a superset in your training. So the pumpers can be supersetted or used as finishers in your training and they'll give you a really good glute pump at the end. So I hope you guys enjoyed the short but sweet explanation of my glute training. I do have other things involved, but I just picked my top favorite exercises. If you are doing your own programming, you should strive to include a variety of each type of these in your program. If increasing glute size and strength is one of your goals, make sure to give the video a like and I will be back later this week with a protein bar review. Thanks guys. Bye.